Malaysia. Okey, boleh kita mula sekarang? Boleh. Okey, Ustaz ada kelas ni sebelum kita berkata. Ha? Uh, Okey, uh, so kita akan mula present sekarang. Uh, so, semua boleh masuk ke Jamboard lah. Uh, I have to present screen dulu. Sekejap. Okey, nampak tak screen Jamboard sekarang? Nampak. nampak. Okay, so semua kalau uh, you all at the same time boleh buka juga dekat Jamboard. Okay. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Number one. Uh, so, ini bahagian ni kita belajar part one hari tu. Siapa kena present ni? Next time, cikgu akan buat macam ni juga tau. Cikgu bagi soalan dan uh, assign siap-siap. Uh, siapa yang patut jawab. So kalau lebih baik you you dah buat you tulis nama kat bawah tu. So senang kita identify siapa punya jawapan. Alright, this one is Nur Izah Atirah. Kita Can you explain Izah? Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay please. Um so the coefficient for yz is negative 12x. Okay. Teruskan. And the coefficient for z is negative 12 x y, and the coefficient for x is negative 12 y z. Okay, so the conclusion. What conclusion can you make about the coefficient? How do we identify coefficient? So, we need to identify coefficient sebenarnya. From your answers given here, they are all correct. So, rumusannya. Coefficient tu, uh, how do we identify coefficient of certain variable? Macam mana? Uh, ah, yeah, ya, sorry teacher. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> so, macam mana you kenal pasti coefficient? Um, coefficient sebab dia bukan variable, sebab dia bukan variable dekat situ. Okay, actually coefficient of certain uh, certain variable of, for the terms ya, yeah, for the certain terms. So here the terms given is this negative 12 x y z. Yeah. This is one term. So in one term there are many negative variables. Negative 12 is the coefficient of x y z. Uh, the others x y and z tiga ni x y z ni adalah variable. Okay, sometimes we want to know uh, coefficient, like I say this one, coefficient of x, y, z maknanya perkara yang selain daripada x, y, z dalam term yang sama. So here, y, z ni kalau kita tanya what is the coefficient of y, z. So from the same term, what are other things yang selain dari y, z. Okay, so selain dari y, z ialah ialah negative 12 negative 12 x itulah seterusnya ya yeah? okey betul uh, anybody boleh suggest apa lagi yang kita boleh uh, create daripada sini okay, apa lagi yang kita boleh create co variable dengan coefficient apa lagi yang tak ada kat sini di okay, sini kita dah ada x, y, z, kita dah ada y, z, kita ada z. Lagi apa lagi yang tak ada? Yang kita boleh create. Y. Y. Very good. Okay, y. Uh, y. Lagi? Negative 12. Negative 12 dia tak boleh. Negative 12 tak boleh sendiri. Dia kena... Dia kena datang, dia kena bersama-sama dengan variable. X, Y. Ah, yes. X, Y, okay. X, Y tak ada lagi kat situ. Okay, Y. X, Y lagi. X, Z. Ah, X, Z. So, kalau uh, the variable is Y, what is the coefficient? 12xz Negative 12xz Negative 12 okay. Kalau 
uh, x y negative 12 z negative 12 z the coefficient kalau variable is x z negative 12 y negative 12 y okay great okay understand what coefficient is yeah okay we go on to the next question question number 2 siapa dia Nadirah Akmal okay silakan Nadirah um First, uh, remove the parentheses. Uh, next, uh, collect like term P with P, Q with Q. Okay. Uh, then 4P plus 7P plus okay. negative 3Q plus 8Q equals to 11P plus 5Q. Okay, very good. Uh, okay. Remove the parentheses or take off the brackets and then group the light terms or the, collect the light terms, put them together or to rearrange, alright? Then just simplify them. Okay, good. Next question is by uh, Kistina. Um, so, I find the light term, light term first. So, the first like terms is 9xy and xy so i minus it 9xy minus xy so xy means 1 so it gets 8xy next uh there is another like term so 3yz here and 4yz there got negative yz negative yz means negative 1 uh, yeah. and there is another like term, so this 12 and 5, 12 plus 5 got, got 17. And at the end, it got 8xy minus yz plus 17. Okay, uh, Christina, how do you determine this, this uh, sign? How do you determine that? Uh, 9xy, so it, there is a minus and uh, Kistina boleh pakai tak? The Kistina, do you point. have this? Uh, ah uh, yes. Ah, uh, you can use this last this. Uh, apa nama? Laser pointer. Ah. Oh. Tunjukkan uh, whichever oh, you're referring to. So this is the minus over here, and this is the positive over here. So positive and neg positive and negative. It will get negative. So, and Christina, in here, wait, wait, Christina, you can. Christina, sorry to interrupt. Yes. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, yes. The negative here will affect the sign in front here. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, tadi you tunjuk kat sini. So dia tak memberi kesan oh. yang belakang, uh, yang yang sini. Ya, dia tak pergi kat sini tau. It doesn't affect, yeah? it doesn't affect. Oh. Uh, so it will affect this uh, the sign after it. Okay? Do you want to explain? Understood. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh my god. Yes. Are you alright? So 9, uh, so 9x wife here. Oh my <laughs> I can't write it. Okay, pointer, boleh? It stop. I can oh here. Okay. So 9xy here, and there is here. So this here, like here. Ah, uh, I cannot write on it. Okay. So this minus. Ah uh, yes, with the x y update it, update it. Alright. Ah uh, so positive and negative got negative. And this one. Ah. Uh, ah yeah, uh, yes. Positive and negative. Ah uh, okay. uh, negative. Okay, so you get here minus lah. Ah. Uh. Alright. Okay. So okay, check out comment about how the way you present your answers. In the, I 
uh, I, adv- I strongly advise you to do like this, huh? Okay, I strongly advise you to to do la- like the previous question, like uh, Nadira buat tadi. Okay, Nadira buat tadi. So, jangan buat ini separate tau. Ini you separate, jangan separate macam ni. Kalau boleh, uh, uh, ini jangan buat macam ni lah. So, practice uh, open bracket. This one minus x y. Okay. Uh, bila kita ada minus in front of the bracket, you must be extra careful ya, yeah? because the sign of all inside the bracket will have to change. So sini asalnya positif, okay? This x y asalnya positif, bila kita di luar ada negatif. So when you open bracket, it becomes negative. The sign will all change. Plus x uh, plus Four y z will become minus four y z, and minus five will become plus five. Okay, and then, and then, what do we do? This is to show step by step. Huh? Then you group the like terms. Group the like terms. So. 9xy minus kita kena ambil sekali dengan the, the, the sign ya minus xy okay, the like terms is xy kemudian plus 3yz and the like term is minus 4yz and the Constant of this one positive twelve or plus twelve. Partner dia, okay, yang sama dengan dia ialah number dengan number plus five. Okay, then baru you uh, uh, barulah kita dapat jawapan yang akhir tu. Okay, baru dapat jawapan yang akhir tu. Okay, so this one is xy minus yz plus 17. Okay, jawapan yang akhir ni betul. Cuma the steps tu. Alright, Kistina. Okay, thank you Kistina. I know. Thank you. Okay, next is siapa ni? Slide 4 siapa buat? Me. Oh, siapa nama? Akila eh? Haa. Uh-uh. Okey Akila. Explain Akila. Um, 6AB plus 70 and with negative. Negative and negative we got positive. Positive 40. Okey good. Negative and positive we got negative 5. Okey. And Positive 12 AB and negative 1 C. Okay. These are okay. like terms. 6 AB plus 12 AB, we got 18 AB. Okay. 7 C plus 4 C minus 1 C equals to positive 10 C. Okay. Lastly, uh, negative 5, so we put it here. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, kalau dah cekap, so you just omit the another step here. Uh, kalau beginners, kita ada another step kat sini. Which is grouping the like terms. So, 6AB plus 12AB plus, of course, uh, the C also. 7C plus 4C minus C. Okay, kalau 1C, you don't have to write 1C. Just write C saja ya. So, minus. Okay. Okay, thank you Akila. Very good. Okay, next. Okay. 
Afrin. Ah, oh, Afrin is not here. Is Afrin here? Afrin datang tak tadi? Cuba check dalam attendance ada tak dia? Tak ada je. Tak ada DC. Aku volunteer nak buat. Selain daripada the names assigned. Ini dah ada. Okey, satu yang tadi. Kalau yang dah, dah jawab pun nak try jawab lagi boleh. Yang ada nama, yang ada nama pun boleh jawab. Mardia ada tak? Damia Mardia. Ya, Nisa Madiha. Nisa Madiha tak ada. Nurin Izati. Ai kelas apa ni? Kelas P lah. Cikgu panggil nama tak ada ni datang kelas ke tak ada. Nurin Izati. Ni, hmm, saya. Ha, okey. Tolong jawab Nurin. Can you write on the on, on the screen? Ah, uh, okey. Um, I'm trying. Okey, good. Nurin pakai iPad ke pakai laptop? Ah, uh, pakai laptop. Uh, okey, tak so, nampak. Uh, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> yeah. Are you using mouse or just the the keypad? Ah, uh, the keypad. Boleh ke tak keluar lagi tu huruf apa tu? Boleh ke tak? Are you able to write or not? Izati ya? Do you able to write? Izati? 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 Ah, yes. Nurin. Uh, I can't write because um, the internet here is very bad. Okay, then we go to somebody else yang uh, boleh, kalau boleh ada iPad senang sikit kot. I'm so sorry teacher. Okay. So, siapa yang boleh tu dah ni? Volunteer lah. Cikgu tak tahu siapa yang ada apa uh, aksesori yang ada. Teacher saya nak. Good. Who is it? Uh, Sakina. Sakina. Okay please Sakina. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, you boleh sambil cakap, Sakina. Oh, okay. So, I uh, buka bracket dia tu. Okay. Lepas tu, so, um, saya susun dia ikut yang sama, yang like term. Uh, bracket yang ketiga dah buka dah? Uh, dah dah. Okay, so tanda ni tukar eh. Perhasilkan ni, tanda ni. This is for the third. The, the third term The third bracket ah, The third bracket Tanda dia dah tukar kan? Okay, teruskan Saya susun dia ikut Yang like terms Okay, good Lepas tu saya kira je hmm. Dapat 2H minus 2K minus 7HK Okay Sembilan. Alright so 5 minus 4 plus 1 is 2 Okay correct and then K Negative 6 plus 1 negative 5 negative 5 plus 3 is Negative 2, okay, correct. And then 4 plus 1, 5. 5 minus 12. 5 minus 12 is negative 7. Okay, betul lah. Okay, very good, yeah. Thank you, Sakina. Okay. okay next. Uh, this is done by Dalili. Okay, Dalili. Um, first. I take off the bracket and then uh, I and then I group the light term. Okay, ni betul betul. Tak then betul, I betul. calculate the answer. I get one mn net minus two ef. One mn minus two ef equals to mn minus two ef. Uh, Alright. Okay, uh, you can just straight away give uh, this this final answer. Okay, thank you, Dalili. Very good. 
Okay, next. Uh, sambil-sambil ni, you all boleh tick lah jawapan uh, masing-masing dah tulis kat buku kan. So, you boleh tick jawapan masing-masing ya. Okay, next. Uh, this is plus P. Siapa? Darwisha. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Ah, uh, the teacher ni tak buka bracket, so... Hmm. Tak buka bracket. Kena buka lah. <laughs> oh, uh. okay. Ah, uh, kat sini kalau if you are saying that your final answer it is, then it's not done yet. Ah, uh, ni tanda cikgu pun tanda macam ni. Belum siap. Okay. Oh. Can you write? Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, cuba yeah. write again kat bawah ni ke? Write kat sini boleh ni. Boleh je lah kat sini. Saja cikgu bagi background cantik sikit. Okay, tulis lagi. Tulis je. You pakai iPad ke? Okay, kejap. Cara you remove tu tak berapa tepat tu. You see this, this one? Bila you remove the parenthesis, dia tak ada dua tanda macam ni dah. Oh. Okay, just remove this parenthesis. Bracket ni. Remove je dia. Oh, remove je. Uh, remove je. Kalau dah hilang dah cikgu punya background cantik tu. <laughs> okay. Remove je. Okay. Lepas remove the per, uh, brackets, then only you rearrange. Oh. Remove the light terms. Sekejap ni, ni nak, tak nak plus dah ni. You rearrange oh. just minus je. So minus straight away. Ah, ni dah tak payah. Okay, minus. Okay. Ah, ni baru betul. Now, why I uh, stress to to remove the bracket first? Even though these are simple brackets, but uh, you must uh, practice the correct method. Eh? Because if you straight away arrange macam ni, uh, tanpa buka bracket dulu, you throw group kan dia without opening the bracket. If you have a more complicated brackets or expressions, then it will jumble up. Alright, so just follow the step. First, open bracket. Jangan rearrange lagi. Open bracket first. Then only you re rearrange by grouping the like, grouping the like terms. Okay? Okay, thank you. Next. Okay, so this one, siapa? Kalau yang pun tak datang, kasih. Kasih Alisa. Alisa is not around. Volunteer? Cepat volunteer. Teacher, can I try? Yes, please. Who is it? Khadija. Khadija. Eh, Khadija lagi. Rajin Khadija. Orang lain mana tidur ke? <laughs> Khadija. Okay. Khadija ke ni? Yes, teacher. Boleh lah Khadija. Cikgu harap siapa yang ada iPad ataupun ada uh, kemudahan untuk menulis Please volunteer ya, eh? please volunteer Participate in the class Okay
Okay, sambil tulis, sambil explain tadi je. Um, so, I already removed the brackets. Now, I am going to uh, kumpulkan with the like term. Okay. So, um, negative when x line Hmm. Are you terus kira ke? Yes, it's mm-hmm. Tulislah dulu Then No, it's not done yet, Khadija Oh Plus, why it is not done yet? Siapa boleh cakap, kenapa belum siap lagi? Sebab tak susun ikut like term. Uh, actually, the final answer is correct but it's not done yet. Cuma Khadijah skip uh, another step. But actually, it is okay. It's just that Uh, I want you to practice. Kalau dah, dah simple, dah cekap, okey lah to, do, to skip this step. Uh, tapi this is not the final answer yet. Kenapa? Dia kira terus. Uh, tak apa, boleh. What did I mention about one? Oh, oh. kena remove. Okay. Yes, uh, you should write negative x plus y. Okay? Okay. Ini yeah. baru betul. Final answer. Or, you can rearrange like this. Uh, biasanya, if we have negative sign in the first term, kita boleh rearrange, kita buat 2y minus x. Supaya, supaya kat depan ni dia tak macam tak berserabut kan uh, Kat depan ni positif just cantik je lah Kalau kat sini macam ada Ada benda-benda tu tak berapa nice But it's still correct uh, Kalau tak ada negatif So cara nak susun eh, Cara nak susun algebraic expression uh, All the terms kita akan susun Ikut alphabetical order Uh, generally, we follow uh, alphabetical order. But if the first alphabet or the first variable do, they put your coefficient negative, we can uh, arrange as such that the positive number is placed in front. Okay, class? Get that? The the first uh, term is uh, the first positive term is placed in front instead of negative term. However, yang ni pun betul lah. Betul tak salah. It's just uh, another way of writing uh, algebraic expression. Okay, class? Okay, next. Nombor 10. Ini lelaki sini tak ada. Slide 10. Eh, okay, orang lain pula. Cepat, cepat, cepat. Teacher, can I try? Uh, yes. Kau siapa tu? Husna. Husna, okay. Husna kelas mana Husna? I. I, okay, good. Teruskan. Sambil tu. Yeah. Okay lah, Kistina say, I am sorry, Kicca, I don't have an iPad yet. Oh, uh, okay, tak ada iPad tak apa. Boleh ambil gambar je. Buat kat kertas, ambil gambar, tampal kat sini. Okay. Okay, Husna sambil explain Husna. Okay lah, Kistina ada ke ni dalam ni? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Akilah datang. Uh, so, I remove the bracket first. And... Husna, check the sign Husna. Check the sign, especially uh, bila before the bracket ada tolak. 
Cuba check balik your terms When you open bracket Nah, did you identify the mistakes? Somebody is pointing it. Is that you? <laughs> okay, Usna. Ah, okay, thank you. Ah, uh, sorry, teacher. Okay, that's it. Explain what you are doing. Um, um. Okay, now Cuba explain. So I've removed the brackets and uh, I've arranged them. Okay, you remove the bracket and the sign ni tukar ni lah. Tunjuk sikit. Eh, tunjukkan. Sebab ini selalu pelajar buat mistake ni lah. Tunjukkan yang dekat you punya working. So, nanti student lain lepas ni. When you present, you tunjuk lah sikit. Ha, so, tanda tu. Tanda tu. Sebab ini kesalahan yang selalu pelajar buat. Ya. That's why cikgu minta you to explain you highlightkan perkara tersebut. Okey, then nah, lepas tu ni step kedua ni. Sna. Ah. Uh, and and then ah uh, group. Group the like terms. I and then I group Ah, light terms. The light terms. Yes. And then I just simplify. Okay, is this your final answer? Ah uh, yes. Okay, okay, good. Very good, yeah. Step, step, it's very clear. Okay, thank you, Usna. Next is slide eleven. Siapa? Farah. Farah, okay, please Farah. So, don't skip. Ah, okay. Boleh guna arrow tunjukkan dekat dekat soalan tu. Okay. Mm. 5mn plus 1 minus 6h mm, 5mn plus 1 minus 6h minus 2mn plus negative 10 plus 4h So the first step is rewrite the whole equation without bracket But uh, remember when we rewrite the we rewrite them um, some of pressure will be changed. So 5mn plus 1 minus 6h plus 2mn minus 10 plus 4h. The next step is um, group. arrange group the light terms. Group the light terms. Istilah dia. Grouping kan ni, grouping kan. Yang sama tetap dekat-dekat. Group the like terms. 
atau kumpulkan sebutan serupa. Okey. Betul tu yang you buat ni. Betul betul. Cuma nak perkataan istilah dia this one you, you, this step is group the like terms. Ayat dia So 5MN plus 2MN minus 6H plus 4H plus 1 minus 10 So the answer is 7MN minus 2H minus 9 Okay good okay Thank you Fatin Farah Farah ya yeah. Okay next question Siapa ni? Fatin juga? Fatin Nur Afrina? Yes Okay, Fatin. Okay, soalan dah hilang Soalan tadi pergi mana? Apa Adam ke apa soalan? Oh, Nurok Okay, teruskan Fatin Okay, uh, so first uh, I remove the brackets uh, and since uh, the brackets is uh, the brackets uh, X1 uh, Before it is uh, the tolak symbol mm -hmm. So uh, when tolak meets tolak uh, eh, When tolak meets tambah uh, I change it to tolak Okay, minus lah dia Ah uh, minus <laughs> uh, And then uh, Group, I arrange them uh, with their like term uh, CD and CD, XY and XY uh, And what? then uh, We have to uh, We have to uh, The pembawa we have to Samakan Okay, okay. Uh, And then uh, 5 over 8 uh, CD Plus 4 CD uh, Minus uh, Plus 4 CD Minus with 8 CD The final answer will be uh, 3 over 8 CD uh, And XY Minus Okay so this one uh, So this is the final answer Okay correct Okay good Very good Okay next one 13 13 apa? The plus one is Anis, Maisara, Marisa. Anis, are you here? Anis ada tak? Okay, so cikgu teruskanlah ni dah pukul berapa dan sepuluh dah. Uh, okay, so actually kalau multiply for multiplication, you straight away multiply with, uh, here is one ya, yeah? negative one. So seven times one, then you boleh buat straight away je. Negative 7 And then R to the power of 1 Here also R to the power of 1 So the R to the power of 2 When you have uh, same variable uh, Multiply So we increase the We just add up the uh, The exponent yeah? Kita tambahkan dia punya exponent So jadi R to the power of 2 And then T tak ada kawan, so tukar T saja. S lah, S pun tak ada apa-apa tambahan. Okay, tu ni. Number two, tu Ariana. Yes, teacher. Okay. Explain Ariana. First, I expand, I expand the question, so hmm. it becomes negative five. It becomes negative five. 2xx and y times 2 ne times negative 2xyz negative 5 when it when it is multiplied by negative 2 it becomes positive 10 xx xx times by x equals to x cube and what and there is since there is two y's in the question it will become x squared and yeah. since there's only one Z, it'll become 
one, it will only become one Z. So the answer is 10 X cube Y square and 2 A and Z. Okay, so your Z should have this. Just to differentiate with 2. Sometimes we, sneak, we, we mistaken with Z and the 2. Okay? Okay, great. Thank you, Ariana. Next. Like 14 is Darin Sufia. His teacher. Darin, okay, number. Okay, so first, um, I rewrite the question, and then 12 CD times 3 D to the power of 3 E to the power of 2 over 4. So 12 becomes 3, and then 4 becomes 1. You simplify so, 12 and 4. Yes. You still have to simplify 12 and 4. Okay? Okay. And then 3 C D to the power of 2 times 3 D to the power of 3 E to the power of 2. So positive 3 times positive 3 equals to positive 9. C. Uh, here is D2 and D3. So it becomes d to the power of 5 and there's only e2, so e to the power of 2. Okay. Uh, Darin, you don't say uh, d2, d3. It means something else, you know. You should say e squared or d squared like that. Uh, here is d squared. Here is d cubed. Ataupun, uh, here is e to the power of 2. Jangan sebut E2 Itu masuk di lain eh? Okay, okay teacher Okay, number 4 Izati Hanis Yes, teacher Okay, Izati Okay, so uh, 3 over 4 P power of 4 Q Times 8 PR And then I simplify 8 and 4 so I got um, 4 is becomes 1 and then 8 is become 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 P uh, in the question have 5 so P power of 5 and then Q only have 1 so Q and then R only have 1 so R so 6 P power of 5 Q R Okay, correct. Okay, very good. Thank you Anis Is that Anis? Is that P? Okay, yang ni contoh cikgu tunjuk sekejap. So, this is 18A. When we have a division or to find the quotient, you can rewrite uh, in the, we call this extended form. So, B squared is equals to B times B. So, I wrote down 18A B times B times C. And then divide 6a times b times c times c. c times c is equals to c squared. So by writing like this, it's easier for us to see which number or which variable we can simplify. So over here, we can simplify 18 and 6 becomes, this is 1, this is 3. And then a you can simplify. B also you can simplify once only. Okay, C and C. So the last answer is we just left with 3 B over C. Okay, that's how we simplify or divide uh, variables. Okay, find the quotient. Find the quotient. Who is it? Anis. Okay, number one ni sepatutnya kelas T. Sepatutnya Idina Maisara. Idina tak ada. Idina Mia Ishira pun tak ada. Teacher, can I try? Okay, Anis, uh, Anis nak buat nombor berapa? Izati nak buat nombor berapa? Um, any number. <laughs> any number. So, you do number one. Tadi another one, another person tadi. Uh, me, I mean, number two. I mean, do number two, okay? Do, do it now. Okay, 
Anis, you want to say something? Anis, but Izati. Um, so, I did... Um, uh, I do I do in the expand expand the form so 16 h to power of 4 so I write 4 h 16 h h h h and then k to power of 2 so I wrote 2 k and then over 8 h to power of 3 so I do 3 h and then k only k so I simplify it Yang sama, I, I cancel and 16 and 8 can be can be simplified so I simplify it so the last answer I get 2 KHP oh, Okay, correct. Okay, thank you Juli uh, Zati Thank you teacher Okay, number 2 Sambil, sambil explain uh, Siapa nama tadi? Aimi Aimi, sambil explain Aimi um, so, so I do like the expanded uh, two, and there's T and I, I crossed it and the expanded three. and then there's nine we can simplify as and six mm -hmm. which three and two. And then the answer is three RT divided by two S. Okay, your final answer do not write like uh, dengan tiga macam ni. Tukarkan dalam bentuk fraction tadi. Okay, tiga. over 2 RT over uh, 2S. Ah, okay. Okay, tinggal kamu sini ya. Okay, thank okay. you Aimi. Next, uh, number 3 page 17. Khadija. Khadija Aisyah. Khadija Aisyah. Okay, Khadija, you did not write in uh, expanded form. So, can you please explain how you cancel off this? How you simplify the exponent? You can explain that. Yes, uh, wait, I just got kicked out of the gym, but... Apa dia? I just got kicked out of the gym, but wait. Oh, okay. Boleh masuk balik tak? Boleh. First, because positive divide by negative, so the whole thing already becomes negative. And then, uh, I, P squared is also two P, so I cancel one P with the Tadija. other P on top. Tadija. Yes. Tadija. Uh, Use the correct term. It's not 2p. It's p squared or p power of 2. If you say uh, 2p, it means 2p. Okay, so don't don't say 2p. It's p power of 2. Alright? Alright, teacher. So p power of 2, so I cancel off the 1p with the p on top. So... And then I cancel off the Q with the Q on top. Q to the power of 4 is is Q. So I for Q. So I cancel off one Q. So it becomes Q cube. Alright. It it will become negative ten Q cube R over four P. So I simplify the 10 and the 4. The the last and the final answer is negative 5 q cube r divide 2p. 
Okay. So dah dua orang ni tulis macam ni. <laughs> Tadi Aimi pun tulis macam ni ya. So our final answer should be in fraction, not uh, writing like this. So this is not the final. Uh, this shouldn't be the final answer. It shouldn't be written like this. You should write uh, negative five. E, sorry, negative five. Q QR over two P. Okay, class. Okay, everybody, please take note. Yeah. Uh, even though it's divide. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Yes. Kenapa yang negatif tu? Kenapa negatif tu dekat um, five QR bukan dekat four? Dekat bukan dekat two P. Bukan dekat bawah. Bukan dekat bawah ya. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yes. So thank you for the question. Huh? Uh, okay, to answer that Okay, everybody, I hope semua jaga eh, alert eh 1 over negative 2 Ataupun Itu uh, lain uh, 4 over negative 8 Okay, 4 over negative 8 When we simplify It will give you 1 over negative 2. But this is not the final answer. Your final answer must be written as uh, negative mesti duduk atas. If the answer is negative, the neg if the final answer is negative, negative fraction, the negative sign must be placed uh, at the numerator dekat yang atas. Ataupun Negatif duduk tengah-tengah macam tu. Negatif 1 over 2. Uh, ini barulah dikira sebagai jawapan akhir. Kalau you bagi macam ni, you tinggal jawapan macam ni, dia kira uh, belum lagi jawapan akhir. Okay, that is why uh, di sini kita letak negatif dekat atas. ya, yeah? Negatif 5. So, 10... 10 divide negative 4 Ini Siapa tadi buat? Khadijah kan? Khadijah terus letak negatif ke atas Betul lah tu Positif divide negatif The answer is negative So negative letak terus di atas So, so next is Siapa Ni so, Cakap Melayu pun tak apa If English is so Bothering you <laughs> You can speak Malay okay. okay uh, kan kalau positif bahagi dengan uh, negatif jadi negatif kan okay. uh, Lepas tu saya buat um, dia dalam bentuk fraction uh -huh. uh, Lepas tu saya simplify dia uh -huh. jadi negatif 5 plus X um, and The power of 4 and Z Okay, X power 5 bahagi X You perasan ya, bila tadi kita buat multiply uh, variable When you multiply the variable, same variable The exponent kita tambah, betul tak? Dia akan meningkat exponent dia Tapi kalau bahagi, kalau bahagi uh, Nombor exponent di atas tu besar Macam ni Macam ni X power 5 bahagi X so 5 ni just minus 1 kat sini 5 minus 1 So yang ni habis lah Di sini uh, My Sarah tulis uh, Divide dia tulis Sorry Negatif dia tulis kat tengah-tengah Nampak tak? Uh, negatif dia tulis kat tengah-tengah Oh low battery alamak uh, Yang ni jawapan ni pun uh, Belum final lah Oh ni ha ni lah jawapan akhir dia. Ah okey betul betul. 15 okay. dengan 12 tu kena simplify dulu ya. Okey. Yeah. Okey awak ni explain awak ni. Um so the question is for picking by and the power of 2 divided by 3 q to the power of 2. So I work 4 4 times c times q times 6 times 4 times P times P then I divide by 3 times Q times Q 
then I cancel uh, 3 and 6. Then I cancel the Q and Q at the top. So I, ta I turn 4 and 2. So I get 8. So the answer is 8C to about 3 over 1Q. Okay, is that for your final answer? Yes. Plus, what do you think about uh, Aunis' work? Aunis' final answer. I can number one. Number one. Nah, it's not that. Nah, kalau macam ni. So, is 8P cubed over Q. Okay, Aunis, remember. Kalau yeah? 1 tu, jangan tulis. Okay, yeah? Masa cikgu, 1 uh, one variable. Ha, jangan tulis 1 kat depan. Kalau 1 constant, kena tulis. For example, 1 PQ plus 1. Ha, so, 1 yang ni, this 1 is constant. 1 ini you mesti tulis. Wajib lah, it's constant. Tapi, 1 in front of PQ, you cannot write. Ha, you must just write PQ plus 1. Understand class? Okay, please uh, please take note of that. Eh? Yes, teacher. Okay, mm, next. Yes, teacher. Uh, so, Alan. Okay, so very quickly I write down here. AB divide. Okay, so divide kan? So, divide you make it, uh, write it in a fraction. So, divide 10 A squared C. And then you have multiply. Multiply, you put it on top. Multiply, negative, 5, B, C, power of 5. Okay. So, we can simplify yang di bawah, number dulu. 10 with, we can simplify 10 with 5. So, it's 2 here, it's 1 here. And then simplify 2 with 8. So here you get 4. Now you look everything is positive 8, it's positive 10 and then multiply with negative 5. So the, your final answer must be negative. Okay, your final answer must be negative. So you just write down negative. Uh, lagi apa lagi boleh simplify? A. Okay, your A can simply simplify. A here and here jadi 1 lah. Okay. And then C. C kat bawah ada satu C. Cancel dekat atas ada C, ada C, C, C kan? So, you potong satu tinggal empat. Like that. Okay, then anybody, anything else we can simplify? Can we simplify this two, this B and this B? This B and no. this B? No. 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 So what should happen? B squared. B squared. Ha, jadi B squared. Okay, yang lain dah tak boleh potong dah. So we can multiply straight away. 4 and 1. So it's 4. Oh sorry, negative kan? So, panggil kita negatif tadi kan. So, negatif boleh tulis kat tengah-tengah tu. Biar kat situ. So, ni 4 B squared C. C power of 4. And then, yang bawah number tak ada. Dan sini dah jadi 1. So, 1 tak payah tulis. Tinggal A saja. Macam tu lah. Or you can write the negative near 4. So negative 4 B squared C power of 4 over A. Yeah. So these two answers are acceptable. Uh, the difference is where you place the negative sign. You can place in the middle or at the denominator, uh, sorry, at the numerator, kat belakang atas. As your final answer. Okay, next slide. Okay. Slide 19 ni siapa? Ni. Okay, 
Okay, please explain. Si Putri. Uh, so basically, x y means x times y. So I just put x times y times x times y times x times y, and then I gather the same variable x times x times x times y times y times y. So the answer is x cube y cube. Uh, mana x cube y cube you tak tempat tulis tu apa? Ada orang padam. <laughs> Okay, so x cube, y cube, yes, huh? it's correct, x cube, y, okay, ni soalan ni, what if you have x, y plus x, y plus x, y, what would be your answer? x, y cube, x, y, ah, so this becomes 3, 3 x, y. Please alert, yeah. Please alert of the difference of the difference between the two. This is plus. This, uh, this is this is plus. This is multiply. So multiply, you will get the the exponent. Kalau plus, you just plus the the, the coefficient. Okay. Okay. Next, B is Raja. Uh, seorang putera bintang Raja. Teacher, me. Teacher, can I ask a question about E? Uh, yes. Um, what if I don't do like X times Y times X times Y? Is it correct? So, or I need to do? Okay, actually, uh, kalau dah biasa, then straight away give this final boleh lah. Straight away you give this final answer boleh lah. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Raja. Raja. Um, for this question, I wrote Raja. Um, for this question, I wrote 3a uh, minus 2 power of 1 times 3a minus 2 power of 1. Then uh, I wrote 3a minus 2 power of 1 plus power of 1 equals to 3a minus 2 power of 2. Okay, so because you notice that this bracket they are the same, same, same thing. They are the same thing. So we just add the um, exponent to get this. Okay, C, Riskin. Riskin. Oh, Riskin is here. Riskin, are you here? Yes, teacher. Ah. So, uh, these are the same. So we can just add the invisible one. And it become it becomes five p plus nine q power of three. Okay, they are the same, so you just add the uh, exponent. Yeah, so you get five p plus nine q bracket to the power of three. Okay, so correct. Okay, lastly, ah, ni saja je. Cik tu tak ada tak bagi assignment kat siapa-siapa. Volunteer, siapa nak tulis? Sebab dia senang je ni. Tadi? Okay, teacher. Kita cakap. Sambil nak explain. Okay, teacher. So, I do 3 times, eh, 3 plus 8x um, times with 3 plus 8x. Okay. Okay, it's just uh, expanded or repeated multiplication or we call it expanded form. Okay. Uh, okay, selain... Teacher, may I ask? Uh, ah, yeah. ya. Uh, kalau tak ada multiply tu betul tak? Ah, uh, ya. Yeah, I'm about to explain that. Uh, okay. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, this multiplication, this multiplication sign can be uh, replaced or... Alternatively, you can just Sekejap kita buat B lah. Sekejap terus buat B, okay? So, A minus 5B cubed means you have uh, You multiply it three times, okay? So, we just uh, Omit the multiplication sign and put bracket side by side 
It must be written side by side. Kalau you letak jauh, it's not acceptable. Contoh, we have two brackets of the same expression. You put it side by side, but another one you put it a little bit away. A minus 5B. So this is not acceptable, yeah? It's not acceptable. You must write it side by side. So. Okay, kena tulis dekat lah. Macam tu. A minus 5B. Okay, in some works, you can see that they don't, uh, they put something else. So, for example, question C. Uh, the multiplication is written with, uh, they use uh, dots. So, 6H plus K dots. Tapi kalau bracket ni dia tak nampak sangat lah. Bracket ni biasa kita tulis bracket is understood already. Ya. Yeah. Okay nanti cikgu tunjuk nombor lain lah. Okay bracket. So ni kita ada h plus k times 6h plus k times 6h plus k. Cukup tak tu? Ada empat. Okay, multiply for four times. Multiply itself by four times. What I mean with the dots? Okay, contoh eh. Another example. Tadi nak tanya. Two multiply five times a. Okay, this multiplication form can be replaced with two times. 5 times A. Dot tu, tanda, tanda titik tu adalah bermaksud um, darab. Okay, apa beza titik tu dengan decimal? Kalau decimal dia tulis kat bawah. Ini dot ni dia tulis kat tengah. Atas sikit. So, 2 kali 5, 10. So, 10 A. 10 A. Okay, understand class? Understood. Okay, yes. so uh, we rarely in in our work we rarely we rarely use the dot. But when you go uh, upper level in university or in Western uh, syllabus, they always use the dot. Uh, sometimes if you watch YouTube or uh, any webs, my maths to learn maths in other webs, huh? Uh, ada orang gunakan titik, eh? Yeah? Okay, titik juga represent multiplication. Uh, but how to differentiate between decimal and multiplication? Kalau decimal is written like this. Okay, I'm using different color. Okay, kalau decimal, let's say 2.5. Okay, the, the dot is uh, at the bottom. Okay, at the bottoms. Uh, kat bawah lah. Kalau multiply, 2 dot 5. Dot dia kat atas. Ini sama dengan decimal. Okay, decimal. Yang ni sama dengan multiplication. Okay? So, that's all for tonight. Okay. Uh, thank you, class. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher.